This is the mixed drink challenge, if that's what your ticket says, and then you're in the right place. And this is a fun, fun event. This is some of the best restaurants in Kentucky and definitely the best distilleries in Kentucky making their favorite mixed drink. And there will be two different um, two, two different they categories. They are going to be making a bourbon sidecar. And a little bit about that is the drink chosen has to have the ingredients of bourbon. We don't want to know what bourbon you all are using. Triple sec and lemon juice and then all the creativity that you all have. So I want to know what kind of, if you all are using some bitters or what kind of fruit or anything special that you're putting in your drink, we want to hear all about that tonight. And so, and if you all are at, uh, going to any of the other events, you will know that what the old fashioned was our drink last year, and the old fashioned is what you're going to be getting as the official drink of the Kentucky Bourbon Festival this year. So the winners next year will be the official bourbon drink of the 2014 uh, Kentucky Bourbon Festival. But we welcome you all here. We hope you're going to have a good time. So many things going on from now until the end of Bourbon Festival. We hope you stay, enjoy it all, enjoying our wonderful distilled spirits, and be sure to sample our spirit here in Bardstown. So with that, we're going to go ahead and get started. And Bourbon's Bistro, Jeff Shaw, welcome, welcome, welcome. So let's talk about you and let's talk about your drink. Bourbon's Bistro, tell me about it real quick. Bourbon's Bistro, uh, we were one of the first bourbon bars around. We opened in 2005, uh, focused mainly on bourbon, as the name suggests. Uh, we have over 130 bourbons at all times. It'll balloon up to 150, 160 this time of year, as everyone knows that all the good stuff's released. Um, but on the restaurant, on um, the drink, we were just doing the, uh, basically uh, doing a kind of a fall twist on a sidecar. Kept it real simple, uh, bourbon, lemon juice, triple sec, and then we're using a uh, homemade cider, cinnamon, Granny Smith apple syrup with it. Let's do it. Very good and beautiful presentation. Good luck to you. Thank you very much. Okay, Bourbon's Bistro, Jeff Shaw. Okay, we're going to keep it alphabetically here. We are Bourbon City Bistro, and we have Sandy, and we have Cheryl with us. And uh, Sandy, tell us a little bit about what you are making. Your drink is the Bourbon Sidecar. Yes, it is. We wanted to stay with, we didn't want to get too far away from the recipe because it is a good old classic recipe. We really wanted our bourbon to stand out and make it real good and strong. So we tweaked a little, but we wanted to stay with a good classic drink. Okay, let's see what you're going to be okay. drinking. We added a little black walnut bitters. Black walnut bitters. And let's talk about the rim of yours. The rim is quite pretty with a little bit of uh, sugar around it. What you got about that? We uh, rimmed it with sugar just to take away some of a little bit of the citrus. And we also are doing a flaming orange which caramelizes the orange juice and pop it in. Very good. Beautiful drink. That is Bourbon City Bistro Sandy and Cheryl with the Bistro Sidecar. Okay, we're traveling to Frankfurt now, yes, and we're going to the Capitol Plaza Hotel, the Cascade Lounge there, and we've got Katie Carney here with us. And Katie, your drink is the Model P. Let's talk about the Model P. Well, we decided that a pomegranate juice with the tartness of the pomegranates would go really well with the um, sourness of our homemade sour mix I put together of lemon juice, lime juice, and orange juice along with a simple syrup and just mixing that with the bourbon and our triple sec and just thinking that it's going to be a good transition into fall so along the banks of the Kentucky River and Frankfurt. Very good. Let's watch you do yours. Hmm. I'm gonna pick these up, bring those back. So, are we on time? Can I go on to the next um, one? Um. Are some of the VIPs of the bourbon industry, as a matter of fact, if you all are wondering who they are over there, of course we have Ken Pierce, who is a bourbon ambassador. 
with Barton 1792. We have Joy Perrine, who is uh, the mixologist extraordinaire and an author. And, and you'll see Joy around at a lot of events over the next few days because she's participating in very many of these. Of course, Jimmy Russell is back with us with Wild Turkey, Master Distiller Wild Turkey. We have Jim Rutledge, Master Distiller of Four Roses with us again, and Harlan Wheatley with the Master Distillers of Buffalo Trace. So the VIPs, Master Distillers, and some of the best known names in the bourbon industry are actually doing the judging this evening. We are at Doc Crow's Smashing Raspberry Sidecar with uh, uh, Jacqueline Zykin. And she's going to be finishing up your drink now. Okay, Jacqueline, let's talk about your drink and uh, how you're making it. What's special? Sure. Um, it's basically just a hybrid between a smash and a sidecar. So it's got the bourbon, and I use Pierre Ferrand dry curacao in it with fresh squeezed lemon juice. But then also added a little bit of uh, homemade raspberry syrup that's just raspberry sugar and water. Oh, wow. A little bit of orange bitters and some mint. And yeah, that's it. It's simple. What sounds, and it's a beautiful drink too. That's one thing about this drink. It's absolutely beautiful. Are you putting those straws in there too? Okay, Doc Crow's Smashing Raspberry Sidecar. This one looks good. Thank you. Okay, moving right right along, we've got down one bourbon bar, the bourbon cider with Chris. Now tell us about your restaurant where you're located. We just opened uh, February 25th of this year. Uh, brand new to Whiskey Row. Everything's kind of booming down there right now. Um, trying to bring a lot back down there. Uh, as far as the strength, I've said we're trying to put together a fall menu. It's not working. Let me see if I can hear it. Go ahead. Keep trying. Been trying to put together a drink for the fall menu for the past two, three months, and they're trying to figure out. Try this one. Hello. Hello. All right. Shall we start all over? Yeah. Down one bourbon bar. We opened uh, February 25th of this year. Whiskey Row, uh, right next to the Young Center. Um, my drink basically. Keep setting it up. My drink basically. Uh, we're putting in our fall menu now. I've been working the past couple months trying to come up with some nice fall cocktails. Uh, work uh, on a nice uh, cinnamon simple syrup apple. I was going to try to do something like that. And, this just kind of popped up and I just decided to mix some things together and this is what I came up with. Hopefully, you know, it'll be something be nice, you know, a nice fall drink on our menu. So that's about it. Sounds like a good fall drink and, and I have to say that he wins the t-shirt contest tonight. His t-shirt says, Distill My Beating Heart. And that's one of their new logos and I think that's a great shirt. You should have brought some with you, probably could have sold those too. So good luck. The Bourbon Cider, Down One Bourbon, Down one bourbon Bar. Bar in downtown Louisville, Whiskey Row. Thank you. Thank Beautiful. Thank you very much. Okay, our next drink comes from the world famous Mammy's Kitchen. And I say the world famous Mammy's Kitchen, they're here in Bardstown, Kentucky, but they can also be seen on the Learning Channel. 
the Travel Channel and every other media that we've had come into Bardstown over the last year. It seems like Mammy's Kitchen always makes it on the TV and actually they're going to be on several other national networks coming up and featured. So we're proud of our own Mammy's Kitchen. And Robin Thomas is our bartender tonight. And tell us about the downtown Basil Brown. Well, uh, I did kind of kept it simple. Um, I just did, I named it Downtown Basil Brown because our sweet tea um, goes so good with our downtown Kentucky hot brown. Um, so I just added my sweet tea, my bourbon, um, lemon juice, and triple sec. And I just added like a splash of tea schnapps. So uh, do you all just sit around and say, let's throw this in or let's throw that in? How do you actually come up with this? I just well, I actually took what y'all gave me for the, the for the sidecar, and I was thinking, well, our, everybody loves our sweet tea. Our sweet tea is great. Um, I thought it would be good just to add in that. I added just a little bit of peach schnapps to give it a little kick, and then I put lemons at the bottom, added some blackberries and some raspberries, and garnished it with some basil leaves. That's where I got the name, Downtown Basil Brown. Very good. Thank you, and good luck to you.